guys are actually located in my hometown. I grew up around here and I am visiting in around in the area for right, for right now so I thought this would be cool to show on camera and to vlog about and to just have as part of my video diary. So also check out all of these solars. So much solar. It's on the other side too. So much so. Like what? Okay, I just pulled in here and we're about to drive into the park. Here's my little uh, ride companions. And this is what the entrance looks like, guys. So, oh, I'm still in reverse. I never said I was a good driver. Administration maintenance deliveries. We don't want that visitor center. We're gonna go there. So we'll go this way. <laughs> There's a lot of people here actually. Okay, yeah, I got a parking spot. Alright, let me roll up my windows and everything like that. These are just some of the signs when you get to the entrance. And these are the rules. Okay, so we won't break any of those. Drones are prohibited. Interesting. So, we used to come here a lot when I was a kid on like field trips and stuff. And in there is like, I don't know, it used to be years ago and it probably still is a gift shop and stuff like that. And you can get different little books and just things, but I can't really see inside right now. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's locked. But it's part of the National Park Service. And yeah, it's Hopewell Culture National Historical Park, Mound City Group. And this is the visitor center. So we're up here at the very like, entrance. I'll show you guys a good view out. There's just some more information and stuff right here. And this is like a map of all the different mounts. Let me step out so you can see the whole thing. And you can pause that if you want to look at it longer. But yeah, here is a good view. The 
it's crazy so we're gonna go up and like get closer to them and i'll stand next to them so you can like really see how big some of them are and then here's a little like tactile map of all the mounds which i think is really cool i love this as a kid and we're right here so we're about to go down in here which is out there let me show one more sign we got right here So, I don't know what I should title this video, I was thinking of some ideas and stuff, but like walk around the flat areas but there's a warning a very nice polite warning that tells you not to be walking on the mounds so and there's another sign here and it talks about the native americans and how they use the mica try not to get my shadow in there ground here and I will go stand next to it so you can see me. This one's the biggest, the tallest one, so we're going to go back to it, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stand in front of it. Hopefully we can find a good place to put the camera. Some people wonder if they tried to use them to tell time, like the sun, like coming through them at certain points of the day or certain times of the year. I haven't looked much into that theory, but yeah, when I was a kid, we were taught that they were burial grounds. Okay, I'm gonna try and set down the camera. This ground's not very flat. I had a flat surface the last time. Okay, let me try this. Okay, I think this is like the best shot I'm gonna get. Maybe I should go closer. I don't know. Let me try. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna get too close. If you know what I mean. Okay. And also, not only is there that huge mound and like all these other pretty large sizable mounds around the park in the area, there's also a mound like going all the way around. And so they said that at one point in time, 
this was a settlement for the Hopewell culture. That's why I wonder, like, maybe what else the mounds could have been used for. But I mean, it doesn't make sense. Like, we have tombstones now, but I think if you didn't have those kind of materials or resources, you would want to make a big monument, you know? So you would just use the earth. And that's why they call them earthworks. It's really cool. I love the history that my hometown has. Um, I'm going to do like a walk around for you guys. And we will walk around the whole park, earthworks area. Look at all the different mounds. And yeah, that'll be the that'll be the tour of the Hopewell Culture Earthworks. So it doesn't take too long to walk around at all. Let me grab my coffee here and my keys. Look at my his name is Fritz. So cute, right? I'm my friend called me a dirty keychain girl, and <laughs> I would be mad if it wasn't true. There's like small mounds. Small mounds, medium sized mounds, big mounds. There's all kinds of mounds. Yeah, this one's just like, I don't know if it's eroded or if it was always that small, but. There's also like weird patches of grass that like grow better and like in a perfect circle. Like, see how all of that grass is like, I don't know if that's how they cut it. I don't think it is. This is like always happening. So this big one is actually called Mound 7. This is the site of a log house, supposedly. They say a log house like this was built here. It was here at one point in time.
I'm gonna venture over here. This is the elliptical mound. It's a long one. Okay guys, so that's pretty much all the mounds. And all the plaques. So, for sure, let me know if you would want me to travel to Serpent Mound and do a video on it. It's called Serpent Mound because it is literally in the shape of a snake or a serpent. And it's really cool. See, this is what I mean. Look at this. See how it's like in a perfect circle? So weird, right? Like, I feel like there's something to that that I just don't understand. So we're not going to step in it. I'm going to walk around it. <laughs> up to the entrance where we started. Here's the first couple of mounds that we looked at. Here's like a little view of the wall that goes all the way around. As you can see, there's our little warning sign. We're back at the beginning. Mm -hmm. 